Hello and welcome, Virgos, to your November 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Yannack. You are watching Thomas Star Readings. Please like, subscribe and share if you like my work. You can buy me a coffee on www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. That's www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. Now, as you can see, I have a guest reader. My friend Jane Arnold is back. Hello. Welcome back. Um, Jane has been on that channel about six, seven times now. Um, so a lot of people will remember you. If you want to have a reading, a personal reading, because this is obviously a general reading here, so it doesn't resonate necessarily uh, with all of you. If you want to have a reading with Jane or myself, um, you can find the information in the description box below. You will also find information in the description box below about a magazine that I'm currently writing for. I'm, a, I'm an executive contributor for the Brains magazine, which is a, an empowerment um, magazine, but it's also about you know business, entrepreneurs, how do you do this, but all from a spiritual point of view. And I have published uh, three different articles so far on, in the mindfulness section, and you can see there's a picture on the screen here. Um, so I leave the information in the description box below. It's free of charge. Um, would be awesome if you find me there and my fellow colleagues, writers, authors, whatever you, you call all this, um, would be awesome. Now, what we do here, we will look at the overall energy for the months ahead before we then look at the emotional core, your emotional core, whether or not there's love coming in or healing needs to happen. And then lastly, look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of November 2023 for the sign of the maiden, Virgo. Here is the overall energy for your sign. Lovely. So the overall energy for you is change in direction and steady progress. Um, quite powerful cards um, for Virgo for this month. This is all about new beginnings, change coming in, looking at the direction that you want to go in and making steady progress in where it is that you want to be. So there's a little bit about um, need to plan, need to plan where you want to go for those changes that are, that are coming. you Some of you will have noticed the energy is already changing around you um, and things are changing around you within life. These are the new beginnings that are meant to be for some of you. Some will find it a little bit difficult. Some will be you know, ready for it. I'm, I'm ready for this change. I'm ready for something new. But whichever way it comes for you, just know that this is meant to be. This is a progress that you are meant to, to make. And the steps that you're meant to take and just sometimes you just have to go with that flow even if it doesn't feel um you know if it feels a little bit awkward well, that's what i want to say sometimes you just got to go with it a little bit and see where it takes you because it's meant to be thank you so much and it goes hand in hand with your emotional core there are changes coming that you are aware of change is the only constant in the universe there's always changes so fighting them doesn't really make a lot of sense. Now, you are governed by Mercury. Mercury is the number, is the, the planet of communication. And the number associated with Mercury is five, and five is also the number of change. Mm -hmm. You are not a sign that pisses itself uh, just because there's a bit of change coming. So understand how strong you are and understand that you have been through so many things and you will go again. So don't go into this, oh, I don't know if this works. So I'm not saying you're, 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 you're sort of whiny people here. But what I'm saying is if you have enough, you retreat. Virgo, you're not a retreating energy. You work well under stress. This is the only downside that Virgo has because sometimes you don't know uh, that you're super stressed. Right? So with regards to your emotional core, what you really ought to be looking at is your home, right? Make sure that where you dwell, you know, and who you live there with, that everything is in harmony. That is the, the short and sweet message here for you. This is all about home, making home work, which also means if home isn't working, get the hell out of Dodge. You understand that if it's not changeable, then, you know, allow yourself to not be in a place that doesn't embrace you any longer. And the reason why I'm saying this is because you have the midheaven, so you have your birth chart, right? And then there's all the planets there and wherever they are, that means something. But then you have, if you took a line through it and then you see which energies are on either side, this is called the midheaven. Um, so there's always whatever that is on your birth chart then um, is where you find your balance in your lifetime. 
if that makes sense. Um, and you have the energy of pinnacle. Now, in numerology, which is very much related to astrology, pinnacles are known as hmm, difficult numbers. So when you, have, uh, when, you, when, when you have a pinnacle number or the energy of pinnacles, there are changes that need to be made because if you're not, if you're not making them, things cannot progress. So while it doesn't feel super easy here, um, be a bit awkward, if that makes sense. And here's why, because everything is numbers here. So the card of, the, of, of home is obviously the fourth house, which is the, the house that has to do with home, um, especially the, um, the, the male part of home, even though that doesn't affect you all that much. The number on it is 42. Four and two is six. Now six is the number of the element of ether. We're not using ether anymore in Western astrology, but it is still the number of the element. And the element of ether is the element that is seen as glue. You're holding on to stuff longer than you should. And because of you working quite well under stress, you might not always be aware when it's not really or shouldn't really be worth your, your while anymore. Does that make sense? So there's lots of energy here. And then your, your midheaven, your balance card, has the number nine. Six and three, 36 and has, is nine, the number of completion. So your job is to look at, at home. Is home working wherever you are, wherever you live? Is that really working for me? And are the people that I share that place with really working? You know, are we really chilling here? And then attempt to find a balance in that scenario or these scenarios that you find yourself in. So there's neither a lot of stuff said here about um, love needing to happen or healing needing to happen. This is about paying attention to what is actually happening in your personal home life at this point in time and then look at what needs to be tweaked to make this happen. Because if you're not in balance, you will not really find happiness. Okay, and now we will look at the um, at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of November 2023 for the sign of Virgo. And funnily enough, it is all flowy. Yeah. We have the heart chakra and energy work. So the opportunities here, love is the heart of the matter. So it, it mm, yeah. literally does flow on from what Thomas has just been saying. A lot of you will be looking towards the relationship, the home, looking at, at what's working, what isn't working. Um, it, it feels very much as though things may have been really, really hard work and draining your energy for some time. And once you actually do this, so look at it as an opportunity um, rather than looking at, at it in the other aspect. If you look at it as an opportunity for you to move forward with your life, and something that is meant to be and is positive and take those first steps then you will feel better for it so absolutely relationships but it can be relationships in different formats as well mm. um, within the home with your partner but also with family members as well um, I'm very much seeing that as well so just look at that and just know that it's a good thing to be doing even though sometimes it might not feel that way Thank you. And remember, if you need more guidance, more help, um, you can have a personal reading with either one of us. And you could also look into your astrology. Look at, you know, where were the planets when I was born? How does that affect me? You know, which are which, which areas are, more, are my difficulties? In which areas do I actually thrive? And um, if you want to do that, I know just the guy. Mm. I write astrology reports and um, these are interesting because they are way more work than a bloody reading if that makes sense right they're, they're quite uh, interesting but i also do that the way it was done you get a really in-depth report that you can look at and it gives you guidance for years to come so i take that quite seriously the good thing is the reason i mentioned this in the first place is because there is a special offer this very month so there is a i put a picture here on the screen if you want to get a personalized astrology report um there's a there's a dedicated video here on that on that channel that tells you what I need from you and how it all how it all works. The point is you can now get yourself an astrology report as a PDF for twenty seven pounds, um, or a deluxe version that comes in a beautiful folder which is on the screen right now for forty five pounds instead of fifty. So there's a ten percent off um, 
special offer just for the month of November. And the reason why I sort of put this in November is because these reports become quite um, popular every time Christmas comes around because they make perfect gifts uh, for you because it's like, you know, I'm caring about myself. So I'm looking at myself mm -hmm. and for the people that you love. All I'm saying is when, when astrology came to me, I said to the guides, F off, you got the wrong guy. I can't do numbers. <laughs> and then once I stopped fighting my guides, I noticed how amazing this is to have all these options to reflect on where am I going here. Mm. Quite powerful. And so the point is I'm now embracing it. And because I do, um, you know, that is the, the, um, that is the reason why this channel uh, exists in the first place. So point is, now that I've looked at it for, for many years, I now know how important they are and can be. Um, and the point is, this month um, you can get them for 10% off. And the reason why I'm mentioning it this month is because it takes me three to five days for a personalized astrology report to be created. And sometimes there's a bit of a queue. And I want to make sure that if you book one, um, that you get, get it all uh, before the festive season sort of is over. That makes sense. So um, if this is of interest to you, um, watch the dedicated video um, and or get in touch. That's all we got time for. That's all we do here. Thank you so much. Hang in there, as they say. Mm -hmm. Please like, subscribe and share. And um, thank you, Jane, for being here. Thank you. And we'll see you next month, I suppose. Bye-bye.